Hello and welcome to the DLSA, South Africa's number one legal and law analysis talk show, right here on YouTube. We, we discuss and analyze local and international legal and law developments and news. We also publish verified live and curated job openings in the law profession, so stay tuned for that and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to get all our latest updates. My name is Tabo Makauta and I'm not, I'm not alone. I'm joined by Samuel Tigo, who's a financial law analyst. Mr. Tigo, welcome, are you well? I'm well, I'm well, Mr. Makauta, how are you? I'm great, thank you. Mr. Tigo, Docket 375, postponements, Lieutenant Colonel for re. What do we have? Uh, yeah, Mr. Makauta, today we are going to be dealing exclusively with the Senzo Maywa tribe. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of things that are coming through from the tribe, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, we have five men that are currently uh, on trial for the men, for the matter of Senzo Meriwa. Yes. Uh, four of those are, are represented by Mr. Advocate uh, by Tefo and uh, accused number five by Zambia and Solo. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Right. Uh, well, the, the, the case has been postponed to 12 July uh, pending Mr. Mishorolo's study of the now in uh, famous docket uh, 375. Docket 375. Yeah. Docket 375, if you remember, uh, is the docket that, you know, uh, surfaced or the news about that docket surfaced later on because of the, the trial went with a, a separate docket from the one. Yes, right? the, trial, the trial actually initiated with, 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 with a docket because of most of the Republic, in fact, mm -hmm. almost all of the Republic only knew of one docket for the yes. case uh, or for the matter trial or matter case of Senzo Mayu. Yeah. Now, uh, here comes Docket 375. 375, yes. yes. We, we all knew about one docket. Yes. You know, in most cases, and this was the first time I hear of a case that would have, you know, multiple dockets on it. Of course. I know that it does happen, but yes. in this particular instance, yes. uh, the docket 375 was not known yes. to advocate in Sholo. Of course not. Which yeah. he also felt that for yes. accused number five, yes. it was an infringement of his rights. Of, 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 of accused number five's rights, yes. Of accused number five's rights because she's representing accused number five. How can you get a proper defense or a solid defense or a comprehensive defense if you don't know the full details of the, the of, of discovery? Because it, yes. It, it is. Yes. So uh, that's why she called for this postponement for her to also, you know, start the docket and apply her mind so that she can also, you know, prepare a proper defense. Yes. Because now Advocate Tifoma uh, Manisela, he, yes. he, he is the one who actually spoke about this docket. Yes. He didn't know about this docket because of him talking about, about it. it. Yes. You know, yes. that would then give an impression that he knows the contents of the docket, yes. or maybe he knows yes. things about the docket mm -hmm. where advocate in Shololo doesn't know. Doesn't know any anything about it. Mr. Mm -hmm. Tiro, it was an explosive day, the 14th of June. It was an explosive day at court, the 14th right. of June, um, at the you know, North Houghton High Court in Pretoria, sitting in Pretoria, where now, before we go in, get, get into the, the actual court, um, the last session, in fact, was on the 14th of June of this trial, the Central Media trial. Yeah. But let's, let's, let's just look at um, criminal procedure, what we know about criminal procedure. Now, Mr. Tiro, uh, when a case is being investigated, right. uh, in accordance with the Criminal Procedure Act, yeah. um, Criminal Procedure Act 51 of 1977, we know that there are multiple uh, players or legal, legal actors. Um, from the time that an uh, unlawful or illegal act is committed, yes. right up until the, the, the sentencing and conviction and uh, actual um, conviction and uh, sentencing and incarceration of any suspect or suspects. Mm -hmm. Now, looking at the Senzo Mayor trial, Senzo Mayor was made out in 2014, right? Right. Uh, there were people who, or a person or people who made out Senzo Mayor. Right. Those people were illegal actors. Uh, the people who, even Senzo Mayo himself, was a legal actor yeah. in his own uh, matter. Right. In his own matter, he was a legal actor, which is something that's very sad. Yeah. Now, criminal procedure dictates that an act has to happen, an unlawful act has to happen. Right. And um, now, after the act ha happens, what happens after, after the act happens? So, uh, it all starts with the criminal act happening. Of course. That's number one. Yes. And then after that, yes. 
uh, the facts around it yes. will then have to be gathered. Yes. You understand? Of course. Will then uh, an investigation will then have to take place. This is where I would, I would like us to bring in now the state's uh, first witness that they had, the state's first witness that they that they got to yeah. court. It was very some it was, for me it was something very peculiar and very really surprising yeah. for the state to lead as its first witness in the case or in trying to prosecute these four five accused. Uh, bringing a state, uh, I mean, bringing a, a forensic expert yes. um, as the first witness. Yeah. You, would, you would suspect or you would think, as a legal practitioner yourself, right. uh, that um, the state would actually bring someone in uh, who was pre or who was a witness to the actual crime scene. Look, yes. in, in when, the crime, when the crime took place, yes. there were four adults. Yes. And all of these people say are saying that the people who came in mm -hmm. and one of them shot Senzo yes. were not wearing any masks or palagravas. Of course. Meaning that the four adults who were there would have seen them, would have been able to pick them up even from a, a, a parade, yes. an ID parade. Yes. You think that you, you the, the, the state would lead their uh, yeah, the prosecution. yeah, prosecutions yes. Based on eyewitness accounts, mm -hmm. yes. right? Yes. We've got five people yes. that are standing trial yes. for the murder of Senzo. Yes. But however, we do not have not even one person yes. who was in the house yes. who the state would then say this person would be a witness. A witness. They bring in a witness. Yes. A, 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 they bring in someone to testify. Yes. Who have, who was not there? When the act took place. Took place. And oh, just just uh, come in there, Mr. Yeah. Uh, Tabo Musia, forensic yeah. expert Tabo Musia, state's witness uh, Tabo Musia, is coming in, giving testimony as though he was he was there on the actual night of the shooting, on the actual day of the shooting, yes. and which is something very really troublesome to me, something very really problematic to me. And he, even if he did come and do his own uh, investigation, yes. you know. Tabumusia came after there were other officers that were there. Yes. After there was another forensic expert yes. Yes. who was there. Yes. Right. And he came two hours, the body had already left, the crime scene had already been inspected. Yes. So whatever testimony that he's going to be given, yes. not only is a second party, if I can put it, yes. from yes. the eyewitness. But he's actually the third party. It, it, right. it might even be the fourth party. Might because be. remember, they, they were, uh, they were, they, 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 they actual deceased, Senzo Moreira. Right. There's the people who were in the house with him. Right. There's um, the alleged suspects. There's also a uh, Tamomisia superior. Yes. One colonel, one uh, a colonel Grove. Right. So you can see that Tamomisia comes in as, 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 as a. Yes. As a he comes in late, and uh, but he's the first person, you know, and the, the, the NPA had said that they had broken the case now. Now they know what happened, right? Yes. Now how do they know what happened? Mm -hmm. Because of my understanding is yes. that the people who were in the house yes. uh, have not been either subpoenaed for them to come and testify, or maybe been told to come and testify. Now they said that uh, it, has, it has been revealed or if it has been brought to to light that there, there are over 129 um witness witnesses that will be led by the prosecution yeah. so we don't know who among those 129 people who, who so it, it appears that uh, those people might be called as witnesses yeah we don't know um but uh i would think sorry to interject i would think yes we don't know who will be called yes you know but I think the state would first want to introduce someone who could have been there. The actual witnesses the actual to the crime. Witnesses to the crime. Yes. We know about uh, Kelly Kumalo who then wanted a, yes. a legal representative to be there. Yes. Although, it, although the case was not against her, she's not a, a suspect in the case. She has a in the case. But then in itself, it says that there is something that she would really have um, she's 
she's that much invested in the case. Yes. To a point where she feels that I would need protection. Yes. Right? Yes. But however, the, the Criminal Procedure Act, yes. uh, Act 5051 of 1977, okay. Section 204 of it reads as Section 204. Section 204. Yes. Uh, no witness in a criminal uh, proceeding shall, mm -hmm. except as provided by this act or any other law, by uh, be compelled to answer any questions which he would not, on the 30th of uh, May 1961, be compelled to answer by any reason other than um, by any reason, if the answer may expose him to a criminal charge. Now, on that, po on that point, Mr. Tim, yes. you have to ask yourself, um, on what basis <coughs> would then the, the state rely on King Kumari's te testimony in this regard, when Mr. Advocate uh, uh, Manisa Latifu and also uh, uh, Ms. Advocate uh, Zangilem Zan Cholon mm -hmm. have already said that there is a docket, docket 375, that was actually compiled by uh, Advocate Mizuki. Yes. To the effect that uh, seven people, including Kim Kumar uh, herself, mm -hmm. should actually uh, face trial or uh, be indicted over the, over the, the matter of Senzo So right. uh, I would I, I would want to know on what basis would then Kim Kumar come to court and come and lead testimony when she herself is is a, a person of interest in the case. I guess for her, probably that would be to clear her name. Remember from when this. The, this matter happened yes. from when uh, the police were still looking for the suspects and so on. Yes. There was already, uh, 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 the, the public had already, uh, you know, uh, convicted yes. Kim Kumano yes. of this heinous crime. Yes. Right? Yes. And I think she would also want to clear her name yes. if she didn't have anything to do with it. Of course. Right? Yes. Although she does reserve the right yes. to not testify. Of course. Right? Now, more, more than ever, because she is now a person of interest, mm -hmm. according to uh, Token 375. Yes. Now, that token, just go, quickly going to that token, that token was compiled by what, uh, or, or who, the MPA, or the National Prosecuting Authority, rather, or, or rather the, uh, what is the, the office called, the National, the DPP, mm -hmm. the Directors of Public Prosecutions, I said, no, this, this, this uh, African Mizuki is actually a, a junior uh, advocate. Right. Uh, turns out that uh, African Zuki is not actually a junior advocate, but he's a senior yes. advocate who had all the authority to compile, in fact, an indictment and prosecute it to prosecute it. He made submissions to the fact, or he compiled the document 375, he was the one leading the, the, the compilation, or rather the, the compilation of the, of the indictment. Mm. The indictment itself, or the document itself, it suggested that no, seven people must be charged with this matter. Right. These seven people include Leonga Twag, the son of uh, music producers, Silo uh, Chiko Twag, right. Kelly Kumar, Glennis Kumaro, who is uh, Kelly Kumar's mother, right. uh, her younger sister, Zani Kumaro, Tumelo Madari, Madara, sorry, and so is the Twag, who were Mayor's friends, mm -hmm. as well as Maggie Piri, a neighbor accused of cleaning up the crime scene um, at, at, the, at the, the scene. Yeah. Uh, so these people are, are all said to have been people of interest in mm. Docket 375. Right. Yes. The, the, uh, the docket itself, yes. it was invalidated based on the fact that the person who had compiled it yes. was, re was, was said to be junior. But, or, or, and that is the only reason I can see, because yes. it is said that the, his superiors, uh, Aruki Mizuki, his superiors uh, did not allow him to complete the drafting of his indictment. Yes. You see, but now that we see, and now, or now that we know yes. that, in fact, he was senior, in fact, he had the capacity yeah, and, the authority. Compile, and the authority yes. to compile it, yes. then that in itself validates the docket. Yes. You, you get me? Yes. Of course, the docket itself is not necessarily before court. It's not before court at this, uh, at, at, yes. at this point. Yes. But the reasons why yes. it was nullified yes. have since been uh, over, overturned or have since been uh, deemed not valid enough. Yes. Right. Now, Mr. Tiro, on the 14th of June, the last sitting or the last session uh, before the case was postponed, um, here comes a man. It is alleged that while well, you know, it was actually led in court uh, by the state. Uh, um, by, by, by the state um, advocate, mm -hmm. uh, 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 Sibali. 
Simana comes and says, no, he's a, he's a main colonel for thee. Lieutenant yeah. colonel for thee. He approaches Sibanda at tea, while the cobra was a chain for, for tea, uh, saying that, no, I can send my, 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 my higher ranking officers to come and find out the, the name of the accused <laughs> and the case mm. name of the case. What do you know? What do you know about this? Um, you know, it, it, it's been in the media, right? Yes, of course. Uh, but his request at that time yes. were, 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 were not honored, right? Because the court felt that uh, he did not have or he could not tell them yes. to reveal the names of the accused, you know, all the information. Of course, but because for he, for, for he added that he was sent by higher ranking officials uh, within the SAPS, uh, South African mm -hmm. Police Service, including uh, Mr. Peite. Yeah. Uh, on, on what grounds would, would, would such high ranking officials send a colonel, a lieutenant colonel, to go to a, a court sitting to ask for such details? What people would they be? Look, Mr. Makauta, uh, the, the matter happened in 2014. Yes. Now in 2022. Jesus. Now, we, we know that there was a docket, and the docket was then nullified, then there's another docket here, yes. there's postponements, yes. now there's other people who want to now interfere of course. with the case. Yes. Because now a person who then comes and wants information yes. about the case and stating that they were sent by senior or high-ranking police officials. Now, we don't know why they would want such information, yes. but all of this is just talking to the fact that yes. we are not getting on with, with this the case. case. Which, which, as it is. Exactly. Which brings me back to the point, Mr. Pio, I was trying to raise it here that I'm very disappointed. I'm not disappointed in the in the, in how uh, the defense attorneys are, uh, the defense advocates are leading their defense. I'm just disappointed in how there there seems to be there seems to be no synergy mm -hmm. uh, between both the defense advocates and Shololo and uh, Tifo. Yes. You would, yeah. And also the public seems to have seen it. Mm -hmm. And also with uh, uh, the judge himself. Yes. If, yes. You, if you remember on the last sitting, yes. there was somewhat of a, an uh, authoritative con a contest between mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Tifo as well as uh, Judge Chief. Of course, yes, yes, right. yes. there were very heated moments in court there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, and uh, the, the in, fact, in, fact, in fact, the legal crisis council has now come out to, to warn both or all the legal actors in court. Including the judge himself, mm. uh, saying that uh, they must observe the quorum, court the quorum in how they are they, they are leading their own uh, sort of uh, processes in court. Right. Uh, now we know that Mr. Mr. Tifo is very sort of belligerent, militant in how he's approaching the court, uh, which is understandable when you're fighting for the rights of your of your client. Yes. Because yeah. Mr. Tifo, uh, Advocate Tifo is saying, no, no, guys, now my clients have to go to have, have to go language in prison for the next three months. Over, over this, this postponement, which was not necessary according to him, uh, mm -hmm. where he says that um, uh, Advocate Mushalun could have just gone ahead and finished uh, with the cross examination of state witness, uh, forensic expert uh, Tabu yeah. uh, But uh, Advocate Mushalun said, No, I cannot continue uh, uh, cross examining uh, Tabu uh, yeah. when I don't know the true details of the advocate, uh, the docket 375, okay. and what it actually could mean, legally speaking. For, 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 for this case, you understand? And then there are a lot of people are saying this is a mistrial, or, 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 or on social media at least, um, uh, the mistrial, the, the, name, the nature of the, of the court proceeding, yeah. We, 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 we can understand where both uh, advocates, advocates yeah. are coming from, yeah. right? Mr. Tifo is also looking out for the people that he's representing. Of course. These people are still in custody, yes. right? Yes. And now the case, the trial has then yes. begun. Yes. He wants the trial to go yes. on. Yes. Why do we have advocate in Shololo who then says, you know what, yes. I cannot proceed yes. with this trial, yes. knowing very well that I don't know the full facts. The full facts of the, of the case. case. Of, of the case, of the case yes. right? Yes. And that's, and I, 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 I would partially blame the NPA on that one. Yeah. Yeah. But I would also not blame them because they were not prepared mm. to make the, 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 the docket available. Yes. Right. And yes. now that the docket has been available, has been now been brought forth. Brought for, for, for forth, yes. You know, then they have to deal with it now. Yes. Right. But what, what, what's really interesting to me, Mr. Mr. Tim, yes. is that 
As things stand, the state has failed to leave any evidence that actually implicates the five accused. Yeah. There, 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 there isn't really an evidence, any evidence, any evidence that, that puts them as things stand. As things stand, right? Yes. Of course, with all these weaknesses that mm -hmm. the, the state wants to bring, yes. things might change. Of course. But as things stand, I really can't think of any evidence except for the bullet that was found. Yes. And uh, the state is saying that the ballistics yes. matched the gun which was found in possession of one of the accused. Which will be very interesting. Remember the, 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 the ballistic uh, evidence. There's right. still to be late. There's still to be late. For me, that ballistic evidence will be the same sort of situation as uh, the forensic uh, evidence from a, a, a forensic expert Tabo mm -hmm. Now that the, the evidence or the testimony of Mr. Tabo has been discredited already yeah. in court. It, it, it has, in fact, I should think that all the implicates would now seek to have the, the, the testimony of Mr. Uh, just notified altogether right. uh, as false evidence. Uh, because it appeared that uh, there was no observation of of, 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 of processes. Forms and processes, yes. you know. And uh, it seems like a lot of the a lot of work that was done, forensic work, was actually not done by uh okay. Hence I call this 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 testimony false testimony right. of Tao Tao Messiah. Because Tao Messiah is just going on what he was told to say in most instances. Yes. He will fail to answer even basic questions regarding evidence. Yeah. Was the was the was the was the was the, was the, was the, the crime scene swapped for blood? No, there was mm -hmm. no blood in the house, but we found blood in the kitchen and on the floor. Yeah. No, Mr. Uh, Abu says no. Was there blood or was there no blood? Right. No, there was no blood. The blood was found on the wall. The the you know questions of the 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 the, 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 the people that were in the house. In fact, in fact, in, 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 in fact, mm -hmm. the Tabu Musi himself. Is that is he's, he's in jeopardy here because he he stands the risk of paying himself. Right. As the case continues. Right. The, 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 his work, the, the work that he had conducted yes. or his office had conducted yes. was not up to par. Yes. I mean he was asked if they had taken any uh, swabs for yes. gunshot residue on anyone that yes. was which would be standard procedure. Procedure. But it was not done. But it was not done. You, you, you get yes. Yes. Then yes. it. Then it talks to the, the work that they did. Yes. Was it was it up to par? Yes. Was it substandard? And as things then yes. you see that the police yes. they actually the, 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 the first people yes. that actually failed yes. this trial yes. or this case or yes. this family. Well, it will be interesting to see what happens in this case, but we'll be looking closely, as the legal is saying, we'll be looking closely and see what happens um, when, when it, it resumes again after the, the postponements. Um, yes. Anything else on the, on the, on the matter then? Um, I think we covered just about anything mm -hmm. or everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'm very keen on how this case is going to unfold. Yeah, we'll have to you look know. at it and see how it unfolds. Yes, yes. And uh, you know, we're getting a lot of questions uh, from our viewers mm -hmm. around it and uh, mm -hmm. we do answer as many questions yes, as we can. On social media there are always questions and topics and debates yes. uh, ongoing with the case. In fact the same case is very is a very prominent case. Right. Um, yes, so we'll see what happens there. Yeah. Um, let's let's just go to the job ops quickly Mr Mr Tiro. Mm -hmm. We have a few job ops to uh, today guys so all you low, low practitioners listen up. These are your job ops for, for the week. Um, contactable legal contracts uh, is looking for uh, sorry, contactable is looking for uh, legal contract specialists. Um, so the link to apply for that job is in the description below. You can just check it out, guys, and um, and apply for the job thing. Uh, the second job we have is that mainstream personnel is looking for a legal advisor who is a written as an attorney. Uh, with at least two years experience so the link to apply for that job is in the description below so check it out guys and apply for that job today uh, we also have v excuse me v -JT incorporated is looking for uh, a general attorney uh, based in david uh, the link for that one is also in the description description below so check it out and apply for that one as well now finally we have uh, baker mckenzie who are looking for two candidate attorneys uh, who are admitted as such 
Um, the link for that one is also in the description below. So those are your job ops for the week, guys, for the team. Um, so just go in the description below and apply for all those jobs. Mr. Tim, is there anything else for today? No, no, that's it, Mr. Makata. Thank you very much, guys, for joining us. Please do uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can find us on uh, Facebook and Twitter as well. Thank you for your support. Guys. Thank you very much. Cheers, guys. Bye. Bye.